Cruise Line drink packages, they are a big deal. That's because when it comes to taking a cruise, people like to have a good time. And that good time, it usually involves alcohol flowing freely. No wonder there are so many bars on a modern cruise ship. That's why many people are interested in all you can drink packages that cruise lines now offer. The appeal of these packages is easy to see. You pay one set amount and then you don't have to worry about running up a huge bar tab. Instead, you simply head to the bar, order whatever you want and get back to the fun. Want a beer, a glass of wine, a cocktail or three? You only need to flash your room key and you'll get it. Drink packages also include things like soda and water, but are they worth it? Before you rush out and buy the drink package, there are some things you should know. When it comes to whether or not something is worth it, the first thing you should start with is the cost. Unfortunately for drink packages, that's easier said than done. Package pricing seems like it should be straightforward, but in many cases it is not. For one, the cost of the package is going to vary depending on your cruise line. You'll pay a different amount sailing on Carnival than if you bought a package on Norwegian cruise lines, for example. But beyond that, the cruise lines like to charge different prices for different cruises. For example, Carnival, they offer a package for $52 a day if you are sailing a cruise of five or more days and you buy online ahead of time. But if you wait until you board to buy, the price goes up. If you sail a shorter cruise, the price is also higher. Royal Caribbean, they vary the pricing for this drink package depending on the specific cruise. According to its website, prices can range from about $65 per person per day to $90 per person per day. On top of these variations of pricing, you'll also have gratuity tacked on to the daily amount. Ranging from 15 to 20% depending on your cruise line, this adds another $10 or so, and in some cases even more, to the daily price of the package. For example, Carnival's Cheers package on a typical cruise runs about $57 per person per day if bought on board, but more than $67 with gratuity. Bottom line, you can expect to drop anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks per day depending on your cruise line, but some drink packages go up to more than $150 per day. With price alone, it's hard to know if the drink package is worth it without knowing also what's included. To start, you should know that each drink package on each cruise line is a little different. There will be slight variations on what they all include, but in general, if you get a drink package, then you'll get alcoholic drinks, including beer, wine, and cocktails up to a certain dollar limit per drink. The limit is normally around $12 to $20 per drink, depending on the cruise line. This covers most drinks on the ship, but some high-end beverages may still be an extra cost. So if there's a $15 per drink limit, it will cover drinks up to that amount. If you want a beverage that's more than $15 per glass, then you'll pay extra for the amount over $15. So an $18 drink would cost you $3 extra with the drink package. Most drink packages, they also include a number of non-alcoholic drinks, including soda, bottled water, and juices. There are usually no price limits and few restrictions on non-alcoholic drinks included with your package. Even if you have the drink package though, that doesn't mean everything on the ship is available to you. While rules will vary among cruise lines, usually several things are excluded from these packages. This includes things like drinks and souvenir glasses, or alcohol by the bottle, except for beer, drinks offered at the gangway, room service alcohol or mini bar drinks, and shareable drinks like buckets or pitchers. The bottom line, with the drink package, you'll usually have the run of most drinks on the ship, outside of a few specialty beverages or super expensive liquors. As well, you'll want to be under the per drink limit with what you spend. So if you know how much a drink package is going to cost and what's included, the other thing you need to know is how much are drinks if you bought them individually. Again, different cruise lines have different drink prices. In general, however, you can expect a beer to run you about six to eight bucks each. This is before gratuity. A cocktail, those run around 10 to $12. Soda and waters will often run about two to $3 each. One thing that is good is that the cruise lines price their drinks seemingly with the drink package dollar limit in mind. So if the line has a limit price per glass of $12, you will find a lot of drinks that are $12 or below so that they are included with the package. Obviously, you'd have some very irritated passengers if they bought the drink package and found out most drinks were included. 
with these general numbers in mind, you can start to get a good idea of what you'll need to drink each day to make the package worth your money. So if you're a beer drinker and a drink package costs $60 per person per day before gratuity, you'll need to have around seven to 10 beers each day. If you like cocktails, then you'll need to have around five to six each day. Don't forget to add in things like bottled water or soda if you also drink those. While they don't cost a lot, having a few each day on the ship can add up. To help you with the numbers, there's a drink package calculator we've created at cruisely.com that will help you figure out how much you'd spend on drinks each day. It's linked in the video description below. Here, you can put in what you think you'll drink and compare it to the cost of different packages. With the cost of the drink package, what it includes, and how much drinks are on the ship, you can use some simple math to get an idea of if the drink package is worth it for you. But there is also some fine print you should consider that can have a major impact on if a package is a deal for you. First, you need to think about how much you'll drink while on vacation. For some people, they have no problem drinking every single day of their cruise. Others may have a couple of nights where they let loose, but enjoy having breaks in between. With the drink packages, you're paying for the package every day of the cruise, even when you're in port or on days where you don't get drinks at all. For people who plan to spend a lot of time in port or simply don't drink every day, it can be difficult to get the value from the package. But if you're someone who likes to have drinks each night, then you'll often find it can work in your favor. Second, know that cruise lines make all adults purchase the drink package if one adult in the cabin does. So if a husband, for example, purchases the package, but the wife doesn't drink, she must still purchase the drink package as well. If your traveling partner doesn't drink that much, then you're essentially paying for two drink packages for only one person. In this case, it's going to be hard to get your money's worth out of the package. Finally, do not forget any discounts. Drink packages are popular, and the cruise lines will run discounts to get you to sign up for them. You often get the best prices for signing up online ahead of time, where you can get deals including buy one, get one 50% off sometimes. You wanna factor in these rates in doing the math behind the drink package. Now, whether or not a drink package is worth it depends on how much and how often you personally drink. We would guess that for most people, however, the costs don't justify purchasing an all-you-can-drink deal. Remember that packages are sold for the entire trip, not just individual days. That means you have to get your money's worth each and every day. Many people might be able to keep this sort of pace up for a few days, but it can be tough to do that for every day of your cruise. Also keep in mind that you have to spend more to purchase the drink package for everyone in the cabin, even if they don't want it or if they won't get their money's worth. Even so, there are many people who easily get their money's worth. You just have to figure out if you're in that group. Each package is a little different, but in general, you can estimate around seven to 10 beers a day or five to six cocktails to break even on the cost. There is one benefit to consider, even if you don't come out ahead financially. Some passengers love knowing exactly what they will spend with the package and not having to worry about every nickel and dime they spend on drinks. With the drink package, you aren't going to be surprised by a high bill at the end of your cruise. You'll know exactly what you're spending right up front. Some people love that feature, even if they end up spending more with the package. So if you purchased the drink package before, was it worth your money? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out our drink package calculator with the link located in the description.